Today, I'm going to be talking about a product that unfortunately I don't like. So this is the color Castle Makeup Beauty and this is how it looks like. And it's a lipstick set. No, it's a liquid lipstick set. One of my favorite beauty products are lip products. So I'm a big fan of liquid lipsticks. Most of the liquid lipstick brands that I've tried, whether it's expensive or affordable, um, I like most of them. I never had a major problem when it comes to liquid lipsticks because most of them perform really well except for this brand so I want to give you guys on this review so um, this is the color castle makeup beauty double touch lipstick so um, first of all let's talk about the name I have no problem with the name like color castle is actually a very interesting name but if you're going to read it on the packaging and on the website like, it might confuse you you can think that it's color castile color castile um, the font that they use for the logo is just very confusing. Like it, it looks like a lot of different words. A lot of girls um, type color castle on their on their videos, so I'm assuming it's really color castle. So I think that's what it's called. But honestly, like looking at the logo, I can't even read it clearly. So that is the first con. Like that is the first negative thing that I can say about this product. But um, I like the packaging. I mean, it looks like a book. On the back, there's too much space for the ingredients list. And can you just imagine how much, how many chemicals they used for this product? So, um, this has small details here about the actual liquid lipstick. Most of the time, when it comes to a lot of expensive and more renowned makeup brands, they always put the ingredients list um, like somewhere here on the corner, and the font is usually a lot smaller than the. Um, description of the product so let's just go ahead and open this so when you open this and actually it has uh, a window which I'm going to show you guys now so it says here CC I think they're trying to get inspiration from Chanel or something like that it says here 12 pieces so there's 12 pieces of liquid lipstick inside so this is how it looks like and actually really really like the presentation of the liquid lipsticks it's actually really nice you can see all the colors and it just says here color castle makeup beauty which is great which is nice it doesn't say much um, on the packaging it just says um, right here the same exact thing on this side color castle color castle I wish they um, added like fun um, tagline or like a description of the product here and yeah so I think that it has too much of this um, color castle makeup beauty logo everywhere I wish they used more like creative description about this product and printed it somewhere here or here like a story or like um, something imaginative describe the liquid lipstick like even though it's not about ice cream they like um, they can probably include like it's like a juicy liquid lipstick um, they can say that this liquid lipstick can enhance the color of your lips and it will look like a pot of flowers on your lips or something like that something um, creative it has so many different colors and it doesn't say much on the packaging it actually has a lot of potential to be honest so um, now I'm just gonna talk about why I don't like this product I have to pull out this entire thing to get the liquid lipstick so um, all right so this is how they look like and as you can see the colors are so beautiful and I think that the packaging um, looks like the sleek um, matte liquid lipstick if you guys know that I'm sure you guys know what I mean so um, the colors are definitely right up my alley I love the colors that they included in this set and I have no complaints about the color about the packaging and everything um, I really like that it has a velvety matte um, cover and let me just show you guys the actual liquid lipstick and as you can see it looks really nice and it has only a shade number it doesn't have a name or anything like that it's just like one two three four five I like the fact that there are a lot of nudes in this set and you get a mix of nude and more vibrant colors here so nude colors here and darker nudes and you have two pinks and one dark red color which is great you have a wide selection of colors so i love everything except for one thing and let me tell you guys that this um, one thing is the biggest factor why i don't like this um, product so 
that is the scent I, I hate the scent of this product like um, when you open this oh my gosh it smells like uh, it, at first it smells like black forest but once you like apply it on your lips it will make you feel very nauseous it will make you feel dizzy 100% make you feel dizzy because the scent is just so strong I think they were trying to hide the chemical smell with a chocolatey cherry scent it's just overwhelming and it's just too strong like the scent it just really makes me feel dizzy so when you're applying this um, you can definitely smell it your lips is very close to your nose so you can literally smell everything so it's very uncomfortable when you're applying it it's very uncomfortable when you're wearing it on your lips the scent actually stays on for a long time like it will make your entire day a disaster if you're not sensitive with scents you're probably going to be able to use this but personally i don't like the scent it really really bothers me a lot but the colors are so beautiful as you can see there, there's so many choices here choose um, a particular color for a certain day and yeah so um i don't really recommend this because number one it smells very strong um the chemical smells very strong the smell i can feel it going to my brain so there's no way i'm gonna use this for a long amount of time on my lips because uh, I'm really honestly scared because of the scent so it reminds me a lot of chemicals and things like that um, so um, I don't really want to talk about this product too much I think I'm just gonna do um, swatches on my arm and probably one like just only one color I'm gonna swatch on my lips and my favorite color would have to be either 05 which is an orangey nude color or it would have to be 04 or 05 so this is an orangey nude color as well it's just more orangey so i think i'm just gonna go for 04 so this is the applicator it's just the typical doe foot applicator and it works really well it gets enough product not too much and not too little so it's not difficult to use to be honest so now i'm just going to apply this on my lips Alright, so the texture is very light. And it's nice that you can do precise application with this um, applicator because sometimes um, a lot of liquid lipsticks are coming out with um, like uh, different kinds of um, applicators which um, are very weird. Like sometimes it's a silicone applicator or like um, the brush is probably sometimes it's too thin sometimes it's too flimsy so I really like this one just the classic It's starting to feel thick already, like it's not even 10 seconds on my lips, but I can smell the strong scent already. And okay, this particular color, um, 04, I wore this for Valentine's. It bothered me the whole night, but I was trying to test myself if I can stand the scent uh, even more. So I wore it the whole night and it was really uncomfortable, I need to be honest, but um... Oh, it says here ultra smooth matte lip cream and it's really smooth actually and it's actually very light on the lips and I have no problems with the consistency and the effect that it gives me. It doesn't look patchy at all. It doesn't look patchy. It's just, it looks so nice just except for the scent. I just really, really can't stand the scent. So that's it. That's all I can say about the product. That's the only thing that I don't like about this. I like everything except for the scent. So now I'm just going to give you guys um, swatches on my arm. The first one is 01 and this one is very light. So this is nice if you're wearing a smoky eye. This is going to look nice for that. Again, that's 01. Like a flesh tone, nude color. It's lightly salmony as well. And then the next one is um, 02, which is just a pinkish nude color.
color. I'm just gonna swatch it right here. I'm gonna be able to show you guys all the colors and as well as the differences because when you're looking at it on the packaging, the colors, some of the colors might look similar, but it's actually um, different once it's on your skin. So that it's 02. And then this is 03, which is um, a more brighter nude pink. And I don't really wear nude lipsticks like this. This is too light, actually. Number three, right here. And all of these dry completely matte, and which is nice. Oh, I can't stand the smell, I swear. Next is number four, which is the one I'm wearing, but I'm gonna swatch it anyway. So I'm gonna just wash that right beside. Oh, this is a nude color, but it looks dark beside the first three colors that I applied. So this is number four. As you can see, all the colors so far are so nice. And like I said, I have no complaints about the color selection. And next is number five. It's just a peachy, orangey color. Yeah, it's definitely the most um, orangey so far. There you go, that's number five. And then next is six. This is a brown straight up brown color and I don't really wear colors like this but I know that Kylie Jenner made brown famous and Kim K of course yeah so that's number six it actually looks a lot like dusky rose um, on video but I don't know why but it's a lot more brown in real life and yeah, I'll probably wear this someday. I don't really know which eye makeup look I can pair this with, but I'm gonna give that a shot. The next one is number seven, which is the most nude out of all the colors. Number seven, super nude. I'm sure Honor would love this color because he loves nude lipsticks on me. Okay, so that's a very messy swatch. Let me just fix that. All right, so that is so that is number seven here. There you go. It's very very nude, and I don't really wear. It looks like a concealer almost. And the next one is eight, and this one is just uh, a brown, a nude brown color. This one is a nude brown color with a little bit of orange in it. It looks like the brown that I showed you guys, this one, but this one has more um, of an orange to it. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah. There you go. As you can see, these two are the most similar out of all. Yep. And then the next one is number nine, of course. And swatch it. It looks like number two. Like it's very similar to number two. And number one, two, three, four, five. It's very similar to number two and number five. This one. There you go. So this is number uh, number nine. Yeah, number nine. It looks very similar to. Uh, number two, number five, so yeah. Then we're down to the last three. I have here number 10. So we are at the more vibrant colors. This is like a carnation pink color. It reminds me a lot of the carnation pink that we have in Crayola set. Yeah, this color is so much like the pink in the Crayola that's that we get when we were in preschool. As you can see, all the colors that I applied previously have already dried down to a matte finish, which is great. And they're all very light, like the texture is very light. So I love that about it. Okay, let's just not talk about the scent right now because the colors are so nice. So 11. 
and I'm trying to do neat swatches for you guys so you can see all the different colors. Number 11, here, this one, yeah, so it's a brighter, darker pink, which is beautiful. And then the last one is actually a really, really nice um, dark red. This is number 12. All right, so, wow, that actually reminds me a lot of a MAC lipstick, a, a vampire red color. MAC Viva MAC Ruby Woo or MAC something Russian Red yeah it reminds me a lot of MAC Russian Red so that is the red one here so it's a lot more darker than it is on camera so those are all the 12 colors am I recording? if you say guys this girl torture me again Guys, this girl torture me here. Are you kidding me? So here are all the swatches and I can't deny the fact that the colors are super beautiful. That's that's all I can say. Uh, if you can take the stand, then I would say uh, try it. Um, if you don't like it, it's, it's affordable anyway. Normally it's a nice gift and I really like the idea of a 12 in one set. I don't really see a lot of makeup brands do it like 12 in one set or like 15 colors in one set for an affordable price. So uh, I wish that some makeup brands come up with that. I know that NYX, uh, NYX came out with a lipstick, liquid lipstick vault. So um, I wanted to try that one because I was really a fan of the NYX um, soft matte liquid lipsticks. They're great. I used them for a long time when I was younger. And now um, I've been into different brands, but I still like that one. I still have here my NYX uh, matte cream to matte cream something like matte nico lipstick i don't really know what it's called but it's not the lingerie one anyway so that is it for my review uh, as you can see i'm not as excited as i am usually as you can see my mood is a bit down and i'm not as excited just because uh, i'm talking about a product that i'm not a big fan of but Honestly, personally, I wouldn't recommend this. So that is it for my honest review of the Color Castle Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. And thank you, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave this video a big thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to leave some comments down below about um, what videos you want to see next in my channel. And I would really appreciate it, like your comments, your suggestions. I really like it. And hey, don't be shy to comment or like message me in the comment section down below and ask me any questions, uh, message or anything because I really like it when you guys interact with me and I get to know you guys a bit more. And if you guys want me to do a Q&A video, let me know and leave some comment, like leave some questions below and I'll definitely do it for you guys, like question and answer video. So again, thank you, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that your phones will be notified whenever I upload a new video and I'll see you guys again in my next video.